in this session we are going to see about OSPF in theoretical view so in up upcoming sessions let us discuss in detail uh, in a practical view however in this session we are going to see about OSPF in theoretical view so the models we are going to cover here is about the introduction and uh, what are the types of tables available in OSPF and what is router ID and the states in OSPF what is the areas and uh, OSPF routers what is LSA and its types so introduction OSPF uh, OSPF is nothing but open shortest path first it is an IGP that is an interior gateway protocol that is used to route the information within the autonomous system generally there are uh, two types of a routing protocol which is uh, interior gateway routing protocol and exterior gateway routing protocol exterior gateway routing protocol that's used to, to route the information between two different uh, more autonomous systems whereas the interior gateway routing protocol is to route the information within the autonomous systems and OSPF is an interior gateway protocol it's a link state protocol when I say link state protocol uh, all the routers in the network will be having or maintaining the entire topology of the network okay so it will be maintaining the topology of all the network unlike um, um, this distance vector routing protocol it will not flood the routing information in every uh, regular interval of time as it's in a link state protocol the routing information will be shared only when there is a changes in the network it is most efficient than the distance vector protocol the administrative distance is 110 so administrative distance is nothing but a future that's used in the router um, in order to uh, select the best path when there are two or more routes are available to the same destination from two different protocols say for example as the routing uh, as the OSPF administrative distance is 110 if uh, there is another route to the same destination from the same source using the RIP the uh, route using the OSPF, OSPF will be preferred because OSPF administrative distance is 110 and the RIP administrative distance is 120 so generally the administrative distance with the least least is preferred and it uses the multicast address 224.005 and 224.006 to send its updates cost is the metric used in the OSPF and the cost can be uh, calculated by the formulas like uh, 10 to the power of 8 divided by the bandwidth of the interface used for the communication uh, this is a classless routing protocol that supports VLSM and CADR and it supports only equal cost load balancing unlike EHRP which supports unequal cost load balancing also this will not support unequal cost load balancing and it supports load balancing when the cost is equal it uses uh, the area the concept of area to manage so the whole network will be uh, managed as areas it will be uh, they have been splitted as like areas and we'll be managing that it uses hello packets in regular of interval regular interval of time say for example uh, if there are two routers router a and b router a and b will be sending the hello packets in a re regular interval of time based on the type of connection they are having lan van something so the hello packet is used to, to form the adjacency or form the neighborship between the adjacent router and the dead timer is four times of hello timer it's nothing but say for example uh, router a sends hello packet for every 10 second once to make sure router b is alive and in adjacency so if router a sends a hello packet and it if it doesn't get a replay from router b for 40 seconds that's four times of hello seconds right so as this router is sending a hello packet for every 10 second once it will wait for 40 seconds and if it doesn't get back the replay from router B then it assumes that router B is down or else the connection between router A and router B is down so this is what the dead timer is 
router ID thus plays an important role in OSPF. OSPF tables. There are three tables maintained in OSPF. One is uh, neighbor table, database table and routing table. Neighbor table is nothing but it contains the list of all directly connected routers. So it's also known as the adjacency database and uh, by using the command show IP OSPF neighbor we could see all the directly connected routers or the neighbor neighbors of this router. Database table. It contains information about all the possible routes in the network within the area. Say for example, if there are 10 routes from a source to destination, in this table it will show all the 10 routes. Okay. It is also known as the LSDB link state database. This database table is also known as LSDB. The command show IP OSPF database, it's used to see all the database tables. Routing table. Uh, this is one of the most important table. This contains only the best path from the source to the destination. But in the database table, it shows all the possible path. But here in the routing table, it shows only the best path. Though there are 10 possible routes from a source to a destination, in routing table, it will show only the best path, one best path from this source and to the destination. The command show IP route will show the best path from the source and destination. Router ID. A uh, router ID is generally the name of the router. The OSPF function depends on the router ID. Generally, if a loopback uh, IP is configured on the router, it is considered as the router ID. And uh, if there are a multiple loopback, the highest loopback ID is considered as the router ID. And if loopback ID is not configured, then the highest IP among the physical interface IP will be Consider as the router ID. Seven states. There are seven states in the OSPF. Down state, init state, two-way state, extract state, exchange state, loading, and full state. Let's see about uh, this in practical in detail in upcoming session. But still, here we'll go through in the theoretical view. Down state. Down state is when a router, if, uh, if there are router A and B, uh, consider there are two routers, router A and B. So down state is when router A sends an hello packet to router B. It's not a unicast packet, it's a multicast packet. And in its state, router B gets the hello packet from router A. And it sends a unicast packet to router A. In down state, router A sends hello packet as a unicast. In init state, router B, once router B receives the hello packet from router A, it sends a unicast packet. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. In route in down state, router A sends a multicast packet. Hello. And in init state, once this router B receives the hello packet, it will unique it will send the unicast packet to router A. Then two-way state. So uh, here neighborship table will be formed. The neighborship will be formed between router A and router B. In extract state, negotiation will be takes place. Who should first share the link state database in a database description packet? Because there's a rule that uh, which router has the highest router ID should share their database. In exchange state, they will share the uh, database. In loading state, each router will compare their existing database with the new database this, that is received from the neighbor to make sure everything is synced and in full state both routers will be having the complete database information the completely synced database information OSPF areas so a uh, backbone area or a transit area this is the first area to be configured in OSPF uh, with uh, area ideas 0 all other area in the OSPF network will be directly connected to this area. Any traffic between areas will be passed through this area and so we are calling this as a transit area. Normal area, apart from uh, backbone area, all other areas are normal area and unlike um, transit area or backbone area, this will not pass the traffic between areas. 
so the types of routers used in OSPF are internal router backbone router and area border router and there is other router ASBR autonomous system border router but uh, these three are the most important the internal router all router inside the area is known as the internal router and backbone router is nothing but the internal router of a backbone area that is the internal router used within the backbone area is the backbone router when i say backbone area it's nothing but the area zero the first area the transit area abr router the router that connects the normal area and the backbone area are known, known as the abr or area border router so here if you see router zero the backbone area this is the first area that will be configured in the OSPF network so this is a transit area it allows the traffic or communication between two different types of areas so whenever we are configuring uh, OSPF the first area we will be configuring is area zero the backbone area and all these areas are other areas apart from uh, backbone area all other area that is created uh, will be directly connected to the backbone area okay so the communication from between different areas will be done or passed through the backbone area say for example if the communication between area 1 and area 2 will be done via the area 0 okay so the routers the types of routers will see the if a router that is used within area 1 or within area 2 that is uh, internal it's an internal router if, if there is a router here it is an internal router if it's a router here it's an internal router and a router within the backbone area this is backbone area router and the router which can connects the backbone area and the normal area is the area border router abr and this is the autonomous system boundary router let's discuss about this in detail later so lsa uh, lsa is nothing but a link state advertisement that's a means of a ospf uh, routing communications between the routers this lsa tells about uh, entire information about the link as like uh, IP address, the status of the interface, subnet mask, and types of interface, bandwidth, and delay. So um, the OSPF routing protocol is working based on the LSA types. So there are uh, types of LSAs: Type 1 router LSA, Type 2 network LSA, Type 3 summary LSA, Type 4 summary ASBR LSA, Type 5 autonomous system external LSA. Type 6 multicast LSA and Type 7 not so stubby area LSA. So, as this is one of the important topic, uh, let's discuss about this in detail practically in the upcoming session.